Good morning, grandkids. Well, it's time for us to have another story. And Inigo and I thought we'd like to be outside in this beautiful weather. So we walked over here to this campsite where the Khajiit usually come and camp out. And uh, I thought we'd be out here today and enjoy a book reading. And wouldn't it be fun if the Khajiit came while we was here reading? That'd be cool. And you get to see some of your friends, Anigo. All right, today we're going to read The Watcher of Stones by Gaelic Sig, the Thane of Bjorn. Excuse me, I don't have a very good reading voice this morning, I don't think. <clears throat> Long have I waited at the guardian stones. I must know, are the stories true? Surely you've heard of them. Tales of the stones granting powers to heroes of old. Those special few being able to choose any stone to rewrite his fate. Of course you've heard them. That's why you touch the stones as you pass by. <clears throat> you've heard they bring luck or a sign from the gods. But you think little of the action. It has no true meaning for you. I see it in your eyes as you pass by. You do not believe. But I have always believed always felt that I was one of the few whose fate was not sealed at birth by the stars overhead. One of the few who could use these stones, draw on the power of the gods to change my life, change my future. I have always felt it. I have done much in my years. <clears throat> I've fought battles defended villages, quested and adventured throughout Skyrim. I have bested the companions of Whiterun in combat and performed deeds worthy of everlasting praise in song from the Bard's College. No task was too small or great if it could bring me honor, glory, proof that I was worthy of the stone's power. And yet, Nothing. I have found many of these accursed stones in my travel, and none have responded to my touch. With each new feat, I would return to the guardians, wondering if the gods finally deemed me worthy. But now those days are gone. I'm an old man with no fight left in me. And so I sit here watching the faces of those who pass by on their daily errands, their mundane travels from one city or town to another. Most of you do not even give the stones a passing glance. You have never heard their call. You will never feel drawn to them. Ah, some days I envy you that. Long will I wait at the guardians for I must know, are the stories true? Now, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but... The sun is out, the trees smell wonderful, yeah. and I'm adventuring with my best friend. Life is good. What did, what did you think about that book, Anigo? <clears throat> I think that that man really had the whole thing wrong. Um, he used the guardian stones as, as something that should be empowering him, and yet all along he was already empowered by his own abilities and his own strengths. And, uh, so he did all these things throughout his life on his own, on his own abilities. 
by his own strength. Or we could think about it another way, that every time he touched these stones, they really did give him the power that they were supposed supposedly be giving to people. He just didn't realize it. Maybe he was expecting some big surge of force going through him. But I prefer to believe that he really did all these things on his own abilities and on his using his own strength and didn't realize how much he had actually changed his own life and accomplished within him own, his own self. Do, do you feel that way, grandkid? I think that that's, I think that he missed the whole point there, that he didn't need the guardian stone. He did all that on his own. So now he's sitting there, an old man, hoping to find out whether the stories about the stones are true without even realizing what he had done within his own strength and power. That's, that's kind of sad. Uh, he should be reflecting happily on what he has done instead of still hoping that the truth lies in stone. Okay, grandkids, that's all I have. Uh, an eagle? Would you give me any thoughts that you might have on the books, or are you just going to talk about anything? Yes, my friend. The rift smells arboreal. I love it. That's what I figured. You know, you aren't going to say anything about no, them. My mind is as blank as your expression right now. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense taken an ego. I don't think you even listen when I read a book. All right, grandkids, that's all for today. We shall wander around out here and finish enjoying this beautiful weather. I hope that you can do the same. So for now, goodbye, grandkids.